the News Channel's Mike Mestis tells us, the girls who work there may have never left at all. High atop the richest hill on earth sits a landmark in Butte's former red light district, the Dumas Brothel. It's a reminder of Butte's rough mining past and a sign of a time when excess was more acceptable. But some say the girls who worked and lived here have never left. The girl that worked here had seen her walking through the building carrying a suitcase. Rudy Getzik bought the brothel in 1990, only eight years after it went out of business. I, I bought it from the last madam. Uh, she was uh, going out of business and she, she had actually uh, just gotten out of prison. Before buying the building, Getzik didn't believe in ghosts, but his views soon changed. For a long time, nothing happened. And then, oh, after about a year, things started happening. One time, I, I come and there were some two f fours out in back, and they were laid on the floor in the shape of an arrow pointing towards the back of the room. I don't, I don't know what that meant. A lot of girls worked here, but Getzik says one woman in particular hasn't been able to leave. Now, Eleanor Knott. Eleanor Knott was the madam in 1955. She planned on running away with her lover, but she was found dead in her upstairs bedroom. Many thought she killed herself by overdosing on alcohol. But Getzik thinks Eleanor is trying to deliver a message from beyond. And I rented Eleanor's suite out to a friend of mine who was an artist. And she kept trying to paint this portrait of another lady. She, she got so upset with it that she said that wasn't the face she was trying to paint. So I got to researching it and I took the picture down the painting down and showed it to the madam, uh, Ruby the madam. And uh, she, Ruby says, well, no, that's not uh, uh, Eleanor, that's Bonita. Bonita Farron was a lady that took over. She got all of Eleanor's money, her Cadillac. I think that Eleanor is trying to tell us that she didn't commit suicide, that she was actually murdered. Getzik says he's not sure why the ghosts are here or what they want, but he says they're not afraid of making themselves known. I mean, the her guy was in here, and we heard noise in the back. We were the only ones in the building. We walked in the back, and there was a lady walking with a suitcase heading up the stairs. For Getzik, history is still very much alive in the brothel, even if its residents aren't. And it's not always a cozy feeling. I, I, I think it was the fear of the unknown, you know. It's something that, that grips you just instantaneous, you know, and then it goes away, but it, it's an awful fear. In Butte, Mike Mestis for the News Channel. The brothel is closed for now, but Getzik says he plans on starting up tours again in the spring.